Number 13. The Diver's Cemetery the Blue Hole is a notorious diving location on the coast of the Red Sea. Although the submarine sinkhole attracts many divers each year, it is one of the most dangerous spots to swim. On July 22, 2017, a 39 year old Irish freediver, identified as Stephen Keenan, died in the water while providing safety cover for the freediving world record holder Alicia Zucchini in the sinkhole. At a point, Zucchini became disoriented and Keenan rushed to her aid, but unfortunately, he suffered a blackout in the process. He was later found dead, floating on the surface some distance away. Also in the same water in April 2000, one of the most unfortunate diving accidents was caught on camera. Russian diver Yuri Lipsky plunged into the blue hole, but he never returned. His body was recovered at 300 feet underwater. Number 12. The Killer Seal 28-year-old British marine biologist named Christy Brown met her unexpected end while snorkeling with another researcher on the Antarctic Peninsula. The day started like every other normal day for Brown, who was working at the British Antarctic Survey at the time. However, everything went wrong when one of the apex predators of the Antarctic, a leopard seal, appeared suddenly and pulled her underwater. Her colleagues were horrified by the scene, but they quickly managed to pull her out of the water. Unfortunately, all efforts to resuscitate her failed, and she died. Number 11. Maui Shark Attack a 65-year-old woman identified as Margaret Cruz went off to swim the Hawaiian island of Maui with some of her friends, but never returned. She was attacked and killed by a shark while snorkeling in the water. Cruz was described as a lover of the ocean, and she would go out for a swim every day. However, the thoughts of dying in the ocean, specifically being killed by a shark, never occurred to her. She went out with a group of friends and after a while, she became separated from them. No one knew where she was until her severely injured body was found floating on the water about 200 yards offshore. Number 10. Scuba Diving Gone Wrong A 53-year-old recreational diver identified as David Snethkamp was out in the St. Lawrence River to enjoy the clear water on Friday, 20th of September 2019. After surfacing from a dive, he lost vital signs and his friends quickly brought him to the beach to perform CPR. Although the emergency crew arrived almost immediately, it was too late as the man was already dead. Number 9. Laguna Beach It was early in the morning when a man named Matt Whedon, who was on his paddleboard, heard a scream for help. When he got closer to the scene, he saw some divers trying to pull a man out of the water. Whedon quickly rushed to the beach to call for help, while the divers continued pulling the 57-year-old man identified as Joseph Noah. When they got to the beach, the Laguna Beach lifeguards performed CPR on Noah, but remained lifeless on the ground. He was later taken to a mission hospital, where he was pronounced dead by the doctors. It was ruled that Noah died as a result of drowning. He was also found to have coronary artery disease, which might have been responsible for the drowning in the first place. Number 8. Mysterious Deaths in Florida Keys on March 23, 2015, something unusual happened in Florida Keys. Within a single day, three people snorkeling at different points were reported dead. The Florida Keys is a known destination for snorkeling and scuba diving, so this made these incidents very unfortunate. The first incident was a 71-year-old San Antonio man named Richard Geringer, who was rushed to the hospital after a snorkeling accident. He was on the Key West Fury boat with his partner, and the two entered the water for a dive. However, he became unconscious almost immediately, and he was quickly pulled to the boat where CPR was performed. The next incident was a 72-year-old Illinois man named Larry Coltrin. Coltrin was snorkeling in the Dry Tortugas when he became unconscious and later died. The third incident was a 64-year-old Illinois woman named Julia Thien offshore of Key Largo on Molasses Reef. Similar to the two other cases, she became unresponsive after stepping into the water and she was pronounced dead at the hospital. Number 7. Florida Keys Accident A 25-year-old tourist from Massachusetts died while snorkeling in the water at Bahia Honda State Park. 
Her floating body was spotted on the water, and some witnesses brought her to shore and performed CPR while waiting for the rescue team. Unfortunately, she was declared dead at the fisherman's hospital. A similar incident happened in January 2021 when a 42-year-old Erica Michelle Brown from North Carolina was found dead near the Sand Key Lighthouse. She went out of the water with some friends and family. However, the fun moment soon came to an end when she began signaling for help. She was rushed to the Lower Keys Medical Center on Stock Island where she was later pronounced dead. Number 6. La Reunion Man-Eating Shark in November 2019, something unusual happened as a tourist went missing while snorkeling. The 44-year-old Scottish tourist was snorkeling in a lagoon east of Madagascar when he suddenly vanished. This led to several days of searching without a trace of him. The 44-year-old tourist was identified as Richard Martin Turner from Edinburgh. After days of searching with no result, the authorities suspected that it must have been a shark attack. Therefore, a new strategy was devised to find this missing man, which was capturing and opening up tiger sharks to find signs of a human. Just as they have predicted, they found a shark that revealed Turner's fate. In it, they found a severed human hand, which could be the remains of the missing tourist. Although the hand was severed beyond recognition, one of the fingers had a ring that the wife identified as their wedding ring. Although it is not clear whether the man was initially attacked by the shark or drowned and was later consumed by the hungry beast. Number 5. Key Largo Key Largo, also known as the diving capital of the world, is one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world. Because of the living coral reef a few miles offshore, thousands of visitors come to this location every year. In May 2021, 49-year-old Robert Wayne Chambers and his family visited the Key Largo and went snorkeling on Molasses Reef. This family time soon turned into a nightmare after Chambers screamed for help. He lost consciousness almost immediately before a rescue team quickly came and dragged him into a boat. They performed CPR as they transported him to the shore and he was taken to a mariner's hospital in Tavernier where he was later declared dead. Number 4. Hall Chan Marine Reserve Accident on April 3, 2012, a group of seven tourists was set to enjoy the best moment of their lives by visiting Hall Chan Marine Reserve, one of Belize's top destinations for scuba diving and snorkeling. The tragic moment started after a strong current hit the marine reserve and the strength of the waves separated the group. Five of the seven tourists were rescued immediately, but the other two people were out of sight. About an hour later, the first victim was brought in dead. She was an Italian named Zahi Florentia. Her husband, David Florentia, a 59-year-old man, was among those who were rescued. It took about two hours before the second victim was found dead in the water. He was identified as 54-year-old American national Roger Berger. Number 3. Bahamas Triple Shark Attack an unfortunate incident occurred in June 2019 in the Bahamas that left fear in the hearts of many. A 21-year-old Jordan Lindsay from Torrance, California was snorkeling with her family near Rose Island in the Bahamas. While they were in the water, other members of her family saw some shark approaching her. They tried to alert her, but she didn't hear in time. When she finally saw these terrifying creatures, it was too late. She was bitten several times in her arms, legs, and buttocks. Although she didn't die immediately after the attack, she was severely injured and later died on June 26, 2019. Number 2. Dangerous Snorkeling Masks in January 2018, two California men drowned at the same Maui beach just two days apart. The first victim was a 67-year-old Michael Mellon, who was found unresponsive about 20 yards offshore. His friends noticed that he was no longer moving, and they brought him out dead. The second victim was identified as Brian Bayer, who was 50 years old at the time of the incident. Bayer's death came as a shock to many people who knew him because he was a strong swimmer and a former lifeguard. However, what was common to these two victims was that they both wore a new style of full-face snorkel mask. CO2 might have built up in the mask, which eventually led to their death. 
Today's video was requested by Nothing Explained. If you have any other topics you like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comment section below. Number 1. South Australia Shark Attack in January 2021, Duncan Crew and his family traveled from his home in Warrnambool, Victoria, to South Australia for camping. While snorkeling off South Australia's southeast coast, the 32-year-old man reportedly went missing. The authorities immediately began searching for him, but couldn't find anything until the next day. All that was left of him was his flippers and a damaged wetsuit. Since sharks were spotted in the same area the day he went missing, the damaged wetsuit suggested that he must have been eaten by a shark. Although further investigations also suggested that he might have died in the water before his body was eaten by a shark. What is your favorite snorkeling destination? Let us know in the comment section below.